بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما Okay so the next thing we'll try to understand how the SDN design is going to impact or change the behavior of your control plane and the data planes like in the previous section we have discussed the management plane changes with SDN now here we'll talk about the control plane and the data plane how they are going to differ now the main thing we need to know here is with the, with SDN we are going to move the control plane logic into the software which is going to run on a centralized controller now this means is now we do have a controller like we already discussed the the control plane job now what is a control plane job control plane job is to build the database which is required to forward just like building the routing table or learning the mac addresses which which port should be forwarding which uh, from where the traffic has should be forward should be forwarded so the control plane resides on the controller so now we are moving the control plane logic into the controller which means that the your actual networking devices are just like having no control plane just like no brain at all so they what they do is they just forward which means they will be doing the normal job of the data plane which means they do forwarding just like the other way they do but the difference is they don't have any mechanism or limited mechanism to to actually learn the information so they still forward but again the forwarding is actually done based on the instructions which are being sent by the control okay so just like the controller is going to decide the best route so let's say there is a packet which is supposed to go from a to b here now which path it has to use the controller will decide the best route and the controller is going to instruct the devices to use this route let's say something like this maybe it has to use this is the route it has to use okay so the controller is going to do all the tasks it can be like learning the routes uh, like maintaining the link state database when it comes to ospf routing or the number of subnets you have in your network or even we can say the controller have all the information about the network and also the best paths to be used from this particular device to this particular device so whereas the networking devices what they do they just forward they just forward they, they are just like having an empty tables they don't know anything anything or they don't even learn any information unlike the the previous normally they they have a mechanism to learn but we are moving that part to the to the controller and they only know about the connected links means uh, this device knows that okay these are the links to which i am connected and from these links i can reach the controller so very limited or the basic information they know so as i said the controller will program the forwarding paths and the controller is going to tell which suitable path it has to use Uh, so that the packet reach, reaches from source A to destination B. So the controller again can instruct, okay, use this route, or if there is already it is using any specific route, it can instruct to change this route, or many things. Or it can it can also instruct to remove this particular route. So it can it can do all those things. So the control plane logic resides on the controller, and the data plane still resides on the networking devices. so as i said the controller is going to program the forwarding decisions now the next thing is like centralized console like the same thing centralized console is on the on the controller and you don't need to go and touch any of the single devices so with sdn architectures we can use this centralized control architecture where you can manage everything from from here means you don't need to go and touch any of the device like i said previously you don't need to uh, tell you don't need to really get into the command line of the device to make any changes so everything can be done from the centralized control room now the controller is going to perform all the control plane functions as i said replacing the devices of the control plane which means previously every device had their own control planes 
based on that they they calculate their own forwarding path based on stp runs or they learn their own mac addresses probably all this information now is being moved to the controller and whereas your normal devices the networking devices will be just doing the forwarding or doing the data plane job now one more thing the controller can sit anywhere in the network the controller can be present anywhere as long as your networking devices and the controller have reachability this is going to work so you need to just make sure that your networking devices do have IP reachability. That is very important. If there is no IP reachability, again, the networking devices may not be able to reach the controller or may not be able to, even the controller may not be able to risk, uh, instruct the devices on how to forward. So this is again another thing you need to know. Just controller can be anywhere as long as your reachability that is going to work.